What is up guys, my name is IvexusHD, but you can call me Furza, and welcome back to To The Moon. So last time we left off where we just picked up Johnny's heart monitor, and now we're going downstairs to see the people at the piano, so let's go back. And down the stairs we go. Oh yeah, they're still playing on the piano. There we go. Okay. Let's talk to these people, because they need to show me around. Sir, what you want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Oh, bit rude. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mum hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... No, cut the crap and help. What should I get? I should cut the crap. We're short on time now, but if you just show me around, then Dr. Watts will pay for however many candy canes you want later. Really? Like even if I ask for 10? Or 12? No more than five. They're bad calories. That's still better than one. Okay, deal then. I think I just signed myself up for something really bad. Okay, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Um, is this way to study? Let's guess this way. It could be anywhere. Is this a study? This is the book room! The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. So, there's the shelves. Got to it, please. Thank you. Dusk light. The tower of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who omitted the smile of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> Read passage. Uh, maybe another year. Received room key. There we go. He chooses his hiding spot. Well, well done. Okay, now that we've got that key, let's leave. So we need to get to the funny room. So I'm assuming there's a basement. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Yes, you can. Well, I can because I've got the key. This is the basement we play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. A dusty pile of Animorphs book sits here. Animorphs. I said that right. Did I? There we go. So it's a funny room over here? Or am I just completely missing something? This is where I find- Ah, it's right there! I knew it! Well, I didn't know it, obviously. The door is locked. Open door with room key. Let's go! It's like a cave in here. Whoa! Is that a bunch of rabbits? A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it or take it, let's poke it. Poke. Sit it up. Poke, oh wow. Nice detail. Take it! Received a toy platypus. So if that's a broken music box, what's over here? A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, they're not dead rabbits. It's a bunch of... Origami. Why so many? Did you see it? What do you two know about all these rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There is more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath his cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go on the river, are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Cheeky. Reminds me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Let's... Go and see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it will tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. I have no idea where we're going now. I'm assuming outside. 
Well, it would be outside. This is a bit strange. Okay. So we're outside. And now we need to go... I'm assuming we go south? Well, there's a bridge. That's where me and Neil came in. Or Dr. Watts. As the storyline says. It's here! Why am I... Wait. I said that's where me and Neil came in. But I'm Dr. Rosaline. Rosaline. So surely that's where Dr. Rosaline and... Never mind. Huh? My novel, my novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. Ah. It's stupid anyway. Oh. I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna go hide it. Don't look. Uh, there is no time to wait. Okay. Done. Okay. Let's just hide to that lighthouse. So it wasn't a boulder, it was a beach ball after all. It's smoking! Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not, we role play it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's uh, that's nice. Do you role play too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey! I could if I wanted to. <laughs> She's getting a bit jealous. <laughs> You're not cool. No, I am. <laughs> Just you children watch. Um, I'm assuming it's this way. Ah, this is different. Ah, oh, sleeping squirrel. Who is squirrel? So I'm assuming it's up here. Ooh. This looks like it. There it is, the lighthouse. Why isn't... Uh, no! It's all boarded up! That's not right. Okay, so let's go inside. Seeing as we got the keys. Hold on, what is that over there? I'm assuming she means the gravestone. In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. Was she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Sure she doesn't care. Doesn't care about someone who died. Oh, it's got the stairs in. More bunnies! This is it. What's this? A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh, yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. It's what's. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, I step back. I didn't really pay attention to the ringtone. I should have. Receive paper rabbits. Oh, why did I take it? I mean, why did Rosaline take it? God damn it. I'm not Rosaline. I'm playing as Rosaline. But still. Ooh, the machine looks pretty cool. Oh, why don't you be late by another half hour? Not like we've got a dying client or anything. I've got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late. It's just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Where's the couch? That's the couch. Initiate. Alright, here we go. That's a weird looking helmet. Ooh. What are we doing? Reading his mind? So now everyone in the room is gone. This is confusing me already. 
Are we exploring his memories? We are! Oh, This is strange. Okay, this should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Like this. Ah, can I change it though? No, I can't. Okay. I'm not sure where we go now. Let's just go downstairs. Come on, go down! There we go. Oh, there's some tears in it. Some tears in his memory. That's cool, but strange. Okay. So what's out here? There's still tears, so I can't leave this place. Or at least this helps me to know where I'm going, I guess. Hmm. Let's go left. Oh, I haven't been to this bit yet. Who's that? Is that his wife? Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. Rosaline, that's it, I said it right. And this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von, Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, uh, it's just a program, you know. I know. But this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backwards leap, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memory for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood to become an astronaut, the childhood you to become an astronaut, or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Maybe it'd be a paper rabbit. It is a paper rabbit! <laughs> well, shall we? Ladies first. Let's pick up the rabbit. Received. Oh! 
Note Moon. We need to prepare this memento first. Memento prepare. Oh my what? Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip the pieces. There we go! That's a bit confusing. The momentum can now be activated for traversal. Okie dokie. So, does that mean we can just walk off now, or... Do I have to inspect it again? Activate, yes. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. And there's the paper rabbit. There's so many around the house, what the heck? Turn off visibility and interact interactivity. It would be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? Jeez, what's with all of these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway. Quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Okay, let's pause it here and save it once again. So, this has been very interesting. We've hopped into his previous memories and we've gone a little bit further back to a place where he's got rabbits all over his floor. This is getting very interesting, so make sure you tune in next time if you want to see more of To The Moon. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on my next video. Goodbye!